fuck are you crystal bitches then? Easy on the bitches part, but we've been staying away from y'all. The energy is fucked up enough. You can find us in the woods, but please don't. <laughs>
We didn't ran across all the forms of knowledge, all the forms of truth. We still act out here acting like a fool, talking about how we are the most powerful people as melanated beings. When, we, when are we going to step into our power? When are we going to step into a holistic perspective? Because that's the only way we will be able to rise up collectively into our power. That's the only way. When we see our own faults, and when we see our own faults within others, without judgment, without identifying with it, without, without reacting to it, without taking shit personal, without projecting anything that's really some internal, some internal combustion you got really going on and flowing up and through your being. When we gonna be able to catch ourselves before we project that on to somebody else and then play the victim of the of the of the chaos we just created. Let's talk about it. When will we stop casting judgment? You're not even in a place to cast no type of judgment upon yourself. Where that leads you to killing, to allowing the death of that ego created to restore the confidence of the black man that was taken from him, which left the black woman, mama, the subconscious, the hidden, to be seen and degraded in her value. So then we have developed defense mechanisms. We've developed independency. We've developed our own ego, our own way of life. We've developed our own hurt, our own anger. We've developed our own traumas. Ain't no victims. None. Because all is in divine order. All is running according. So why don't we let the curtains fall and hold hands in unity while they fall on the same pers holistic perspective, understanding, love. Let's create clarity, reinstill harmony, reinforce order, truth. Let's get back to it. All this confusion, all this mix up so far, we have gotten away from the truth, yet we're standing right next to it, using it to justify our ignorance, using it to run for myself, using it to profit off of, but not grow internally and transcend like it is here, meant for it to be used by. We are to be navigating this realm back to our holistic state of being, back into our powers and our abilities, into our magic. Lifting the black woman back up into her value so that she can then reinstill that value and that confidence and present the man with his holistic ego. To have a function in royal black family, raising our children into their powers, maintaining the purity and innocence of our children so that they may grow with their magic, so they may grow with the truth, navigating, manipulating, on the most highest frequencies, serving out their purpose. That traces back to us. That traces back to us deading these proclaimed generational curses that we have held on to for so, so long, using them to excuse us, acting in hate and self-hate, acting in ignorance, acting in a, in a half perspective and in, in, in part, the, uh, not part, the way you gain a holistic perspective is the masculine and the feminine, the divine masculine and the divine feminine coming back together once again and supporting, raising, uplifting the harmonious value, true, that righteous, natural, yin-yang energy and transcending that shit all the way back to the creator as one. Come on. This is why every kingdom has fallen thus yet. Because we still keep missing the key components. When in detail, we can lay them all out. 
The problem is we haven't pushed them together and, and got the collective, the collective action put forth out of it. We try to act on which ones benefit us when we need them to, when we want them to. We try to run from every demon that we have so selfishly projected to chase us and then play the victim to. From person to thoughts to emotions to experiences. Let's rise to a holistic perspective. What is a holistic perspective? A holistic perspective is seeing things from all levels. Knowing how to step out of your own self. Knowing how to see through another pair of eyes. Knowing that what you're seeing through someone else's eyes is still your perspective. So in that, if you want sympathy for your perspective, they have it for others. A holistic perspective is knowing in that no way, no, no possible way, shape, or form can I sit in a place of judgment. For anybody who is on a platter to be judged, especially if you're not placing your own self holistically on a on the platter for judgment on the same levels that you're trying to judge somebody else on if you were looking at it from a holistic perspective judgment wouldn't even be a state that you would try to take a place in a holistic perspective shows you that there is no reason for judgment for that what you are seeing, what you are observing, is simply you from a different perspective, from a different uh, understanding, vibrating on a different frequency.